I always felt like the truth is the best armor. And I would rather tell people my story than live in fear of something could be found out and misunderstood. I'd rather put it in my own words. And yeah, I'm happier for it. And it leaves a, a lot more room for error too. And people know what I've been through and the mistakes I've been through before. And I didn't try to make myself sound perfect. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a jerk sometimes in the book. I do stupid stuff sometimes in the book. A lot of the pictures, I'm not, it's not a bunch of, you know, boob squished selfies. It's sometimes again, my face rubbed into the mat. It's just, it's real. And I wanted to write a book that was inspirational and raw. Olympian, UFC champion, movie star, now author, my fight, your fight. What was your foray into writing a book about yourself like? Um, well, it, it was a lot of work, but it was really cool to be able to tackle such a big and important project with my sister, who, you know, when, when you grow up and you have your own careers and you, your siblings usually go your own ways, you have your own separate lives, and it, it was kind of nice to have something so important in both of our lives and our careers to be intertwined for a while. You're really candid talking about your ex-boyfriend and him taking uh, photos of you naked when you weren't aware of it. Why go to that extent and be so honest when, when people otherwise probably wouldn't have any idea? Because these were events that were extremely formative in my life and these were relationships that affected me so much that I felt like a mission would be the same as a lie. And a, a lot of my decisions after, after that were affected by that event. My, my decisions to go pose nude for ESPN Body had a lot to do with me being scared that naked pictures were gonna come out and I'd rather take my destiny into my own hands and do it on my terms. Your honesty has kind of placed you in a spot where you're somewhat of a feminist heroine. Do you, do you feel that sort of responsibility? Well, there are a lot of things out here. I mean, there's a lot of things that I would like to see changed and behaving myself isn't gonna get any, isn't gonna make any changes happen. And I realized we first were starting just doing a memoir, and then I realized that every single challenge to obstacle that I came across, I related it to some sort of principle of fighting, and that's how I got through it. Is there a misnomer that you're a bit of a one-trick pony? If anyone calls me a one-trick pony, they're really speaking to their ignorance of the sport, because every single armbar that I've ever done is completely different. It's just like, in boxing, it ends with a fist on the head. It doesn't mean it was all the same punch. But to a layman, they're like, oh, all they do is knock people out by hitting them on the head. And they don't notice that there's a difference between a straight right, an uppercut, and a hook, and all these different kinds of things. And every single one of those arm bars had a different entry and a different way that I got there. You mentioned in the book, I've been booed in 30 countries. I've been booed following UFC victories. I've never been a fan favorite, but yet, you're on the cover of a book that's very popular already. You've got over a million Twitter followers. You're in Hollywood movies. Do you still feel like you're not a fan favorite? Even if I am, I think I would purposely live in denial of it because I don't ever want to fear losing that. And I don't know, I always embraced the role of the villain. I always liked it more. The bad guys in every story, they never thought they were a bad guy. In, in every story you think of with the good guy and the bad guy, the, the protagonist just reacts to the, the antagonist. They would just sit there and do nothing if it wasn't for the bad guy. The bad guy is who really drives the story. They're the most interesting characters. When I first came into MMA, everybody, everybody was trying to be Batman, but no one wanted to be the Joker. And I was like, you know what? Joker is the coolest character out there. I'll be him.